All right. Uh, my name is Joseph Chacon. I'm the police chief. I'm here uh, this morning to provide a briefing on an officer involved shooting that occurred earlier, um, just a little while ago, actually, uh, late last night. Um, as I say in all of these briefings, this information right now is very preliminary. Um, the information may change based as um, the facts come to light during this investigation, but the information I'm providing right now are, are the, is the information that we currently have. Um, this this uh, incident began at about 6.59 p.m. last night. Uh, it occurred in the 10,000 block of Channel Island Drive and initially uh, began as a 911 call that came in as a welfare check. A welfare check is um, uh, a call that we uh, get on a pretty regular basis, just checking on the welfare of individuals uh, that are at a residence or wherever the call is coming in just to see, to make sure that they're all right. Um, in this particular call, uh, this individual had not been seen for uh, several months and there was concern uh, for the person's safety. Uh, they had no, no uh, answer at the door when they would go knocking and so forth. Um, the call did hold for a, for a while, being a lower priority call. So at 8.59 p.m., approximately two hours later, officers were finally dispatched to this call and uh, arrived on scene, went to the front door, knocked, uh, announced their presence and tried to get the attention of anyone who was in the residence uh, to get them to answer the door. And there was no answer at the door. Uh, within a few moments, officers determined that they were going to make forced entry uh, to check on the welfare and, uh, and forced entry at the front door, uh, calling out their presence as Austin police officers as they did so. Within seconds, uh, they were confronted by a resident who approached them with a firearm. Um, the officers quickly retreated uh, in an effort to de-escalate the situation, again calling out that they were with the Austin Police Department uh, and asking the, the uh, man to uh, put the weapon down to drop the gun. Um, as officers retreated uh, and were trying to put the information out over the air, uh, over the radio to other officers about what was occurring, uh, the individual in the house came out with the firearm and began firing his weapon, uh, fired it multiple times uh, in the neighborhood. Uh, where those shots went is still a matter that's under investigation right now, uh, but uh, it is clear that he did fire his weapon several times. Officers were providing uh, updates over the radio as other units, other officers in the city were rushing to the scene to assist. And this continued for several minutes. At 9.05 p.m., one of the officers stated over the air that he had been hit and in fact had been shot. Um, at that time, the nature of his injuries were not known, uh, so officers continued to the scene and uh, within moments, a SWAT uh, call out was initiated to get our special weapons and tactics team on scene. During this time, it appears that uh, the individual, the suspect, went back into his residence. And at that time, the injured officer was able to exit the scene and ultimately was treated uh, very quickly on scene and then taken to a local hospital. Uh, he did sustain non-life-threatening injuries and is in stable condition at this time. During that time, the officers uh, did return fire uh, at the suspect uh, as, the, uh, as they were taking fire. A few moments later, uh, SWAT arrived on scene and took over control of that scene, uh, doing their normal protocols, initiating a uh, surround of the residents. And after a short standoff uh, at approximately 11.57 p.m., the suspect did exit the residence um, and surrendered to police without further incident. As uh, he was being taken into custody, it was apparent that he had a wound uh, and uh, officers did uh, render uh, medical aid at that time to him. 
He ultimately was transported to a local hospital and um, at, at this time his condition is unknown, but I have not been advised that it, uh, that it is life-threatening at this time. This does appear to be an isolated incident. Uh, there's no indication at this time that there's further danger to the public. The incident was captured on the officer's body-worn cameras, both audio and video, and per our policy that video will be released within 10 working days. The two initial officers who responded on scene did discharge their firearms during this incident. One of those officers has been with the police department for approximately nine years and the other one just over 10 years. Both officers will be placed on administrative duty while these investigations are being conducted. There will be two concurrent investigations, as is our protocol. One is a criminal investigation that is conducted by our Special Investigations Unit uh, and is uh, overseen and in conjunction with our District Attorney's Office. The other one is an administrative investigation that is conducted by our Internal Affairs Division uh, with oversight from the Office of Police Oversight. Um, this was a very chaotic scene and uh, turned out to uh, require quite a bit of resources. I do want to extend our gratitude to the Department of Public Safety who, uh, who assisted greatly during this incident, uh, providing a, a large number of troopers and other resources to help us to stabilize this scene to make sure that there was no ongoing danger to the public, to other neighbors, and ultimately bring it to a peaceful resolution. Um, that's really all the information that I have at this point, but I will take any questions if you have any. Were there, were there any officers wounded? There was one officer that was wounded. He was taken to the hospital. He's the only officer who was wounded. Chief, the officer that was wounded, did he discharge his weapon? Yes. Both uh, officers that were initially on scene discharged their weapons, and one of those officers is the officer who was shot. Uh, the individual in the uh, residence, sir, is that the only individual involved? No one else was in the residence? That's correct. No one else was located in the residence, and uh, that, that person is currently in custody. All right, thank you all very Any much. Firearms located? I beg pardon? Any firearms located? I don't have that information about which firearms were located on scene. Thank you all very much.